if you have more space in a chess position then generally you will have the wider choice of plans this is why the idea of space within the framework of chess is a very important concept more space gives you more room to manoeuvre and you are able hopefully then to increase the pressure on the enemy let's just see what having more space actually does for you and my first game comes from the Spanish Championship played in 2010 between the Grandmaster Magin Bardos and a Spanish player Izuaro Abru Suarez the opening an Alakine defence where paradoxically uh, black invites white to gain space in the opening with moves like e5 and then c4 but there is method behind black's madness Black basically says, well, although you're making a lot of pawn moves, you're not backing up these moves with uh, peace development behind them. So black, hopefully, is going to destroy white centre with the hope of uh, help of moves such as d6 and um, force white to make concessions. The Alakine is not an opening for beginners. It's an opening of good timing, as are all the hypermodern openings, where black allows white to form a centre, then they hit back. If you get the timing wrong in hypermodern openings, you could end up in a really passive position. Now, White has already uh, made his choice. He's burned his bridges to an extent by playing c4. White could continue in very aggressive vein here with the f, uh, f4, the four pawns attack. But uh, instead, he plays the exchange variation, e takes d6, which is one of White's best lines. And now Black makes his choice. Does he take back with the queen, which is very irregular, or either of the pawns? Well, Abro Suarez decides back to take back with the C-pawn, a bit of an old-fashioned move, and now we get one of the main lines, the Voronesh variation, where white plays knight C3, black plays G6. Seeing a potential attack on D4 coming up, white plays bishop E3, bishop G7, and now rook C1. This is supposed to be the most accurate way these days in 2012 for white to play this variation the rook vacates the long diagonal there could be some aggro there for white down the long diagonal white prepares to play the move uh, b3 which in effect keeps this knight on b6 out of the game and in certain positions coming up white intends to continue to gain space with d5 the Voronezh variation is at the outset a very strategical concept White is making all sort of preventative moves, trying to stamp the black minor pieces out of the game. And the idea is if black can't develop those pieces to good squares, then white will just continue normally now with knight f3, h3, bishop e2, castles, with by far the more comfortable game. Now black has actually struggled to, um, to combat this plan in recent years. So that's why, just going back to e takes d6, most black players these days, when they come here, are playing the more solid move, e takes d6 okay that was a bit of an aside in this game black plays straightforwardly with knight c6 but he runs straight into d5 knight e5 and now bishop e2 a very precise move which takes away good squares from the bishop on c8 and menaces f4 now white has a lot more space in this position and that is basically why black is struggling the d5 pawn is the main architect of the spatial advantage this pawn is preventing uh, the black pieces from becoming active. And, well, black's position might be playable here, but it's really, really difficult to handle it. And so this is why I think a lot of players have gone off this line with black. Abro Suarez can't see what to do. He plays rook e8 with the intention of breaking white's grip uh, after e6. White sends black packing, f4. Knight goes back. Knight f3, you see, it's all very straightforward. And um, in order to play e6, black's got to make one more move with his knight. Black cast, white castles. You see how quickly white's caught up with development here. And now black makes his play. e6. Well, this is from one disadvantage to another. Yes, black does get rid of the d5 pawn, which is cramping him up. But... Unfortunately, he now has inherited a glaring pawn weakness on the D-file. And um, I just don't think that he can get rid of this weakness very easily. So White has come out of the opening much, much better.
Of course, he's got to attend to the slight tactical problem initially that his bishop on e3 is hanging, and there might be some discoveries with the bishop on e6. So that's why white plays bishop d4. But now I really don't like black. I don't see what he can do. I mean, it's a normal position where black's just got one glaring pawn weakness which he can't resolve. He tries knight c8 to get back this to get this knight back into the game. White comes in with knight g5. Black goes a6. Maybe black's thinking about breaking white's bind with b5. Looks very optimistic though. And white just continues to comfortably manoeuvre his pieces into good positions with bishop f3. Well, I mean, he's hitting b7, so black's got to defend. Rook b8, not a type of move you'd like to make. And now white just continues unhurriedly with Larson's maxim, strengthening his position by making healthy developing moves. Queen comes up to d7. The time has come to start targeting black's weaknesses. Well, what is black going to do? I mean, I ask you, if you were in his position, what would you do? f6 is on pre. He tries to exchange off some pieces. OK, says white, your king is weak. Queen d8. Bishop takes g7. King takes g7. The queen comes into a very powerful position. f6, what else? And now g4. Very easy. Black had had enough and resigned. The main problem, the threat of g5, is too strong. And there's no way for black to more or less stop this in a comfortable way. He can't even exchange queens in this position because d6 is dropping with fatal consequences. So that is the type of, just go back to the final position, that is the type of game that has put black off this variation. And his main problem stemmed from his lack of space. White pushed him back in the opening. He consolidated his small spatial advantage out of the opening. He played d5, cramped black even further, and was able actually in this game to whip up a winning attack as a result.